Um, you can you can tell that from from the video that it that it didn't come in at a very sharp angle, and and that turns out to be very lucky. It turns out to be lucky from a scientific perspective because it took a long time to traverse the sky. Event from a year ago, and uh, both from some of these camps are not injured by flying glass. Mm. We're now showing some pictures from it looks like in a warehouse of the blast blowing down a, uh, a, a door right on top of some unfortunate people who were, who were just exiting that door at the time. And, yeah. Uh, we didn't see that for, for Chelyabinsk. And it's... <laughs> uh, it looks like you have dark skies here. The, uh, yeah, the, I, I see it now. And, and so, um, what I was illustrating with this was a, a plume. So when you have a steep impact, you get this giant plume of, of vaporized asteroid mixed with hot air that expands into space above the point of impact. We didn't see that for, for Chelyabinsk, and it's because it came in at such a shallow angle. Um, the plume formation apparently requires a steeper angle. I see, I see. Oh, people Excuse are... me, may, may I yes. just interrupt for a second? Um, just to let you know that we have got some images now coming in from Dubai. 